Um, so thank you all for being here. It, 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 this is actually, I think, a really timely and important event. It's an opportunity for us all to reflect on what on the outcomes of the G8 summit. And may, maybe just to start with a few introductory remarks. I, I do think you know that the, there were many enormously complex issues that were discussed in the summit, and, and people on this table are going to take us through some of those issues. But I think it's tremendously important at the same time to recognise what was at stake and, and what is still at stake. And you know, traditionally, G8 summits on development have dealt with a fairly narrowly defined aid type of agenda. You know, the the, the big. Glen Eagle's 2005 summit was the, it was the most obvious example of that. I think one of the features that was very different about this summit is that some of the issues that some of the development type issues that were at the centre of the agenda were on the agenda because they were such a concern for the G8 countries themselves, and the erosion of the tax base of G8 governments was a you know a, a, a stark <laughs> illustration of that. You know, the fact that in the run-up to the summit, in the year or so in the run-up to the summit, there were a, a sort of endless stream of very high-profile cases of tax evasion and tax avoidance in, in the UK and, and other countries. Um, but at the same time, you, the, these are really crunch issues for international development. If you look at the total losses for Sub-Saharan Africa through transfer pricing and illicit transfers alone, it exceeds the aid budget for the region. And if you think of you know, what could be possible if those resources could be captured, harnessed, and directed into areas that can make a difference in people's lives, education, health, employment, you know, the generation of jobs, it can make a, a very, very significant contribution to development prospects for, for the region. The, the panel that uh, we've got uh, actually, I, I think covers a really interesting spectrum. Uh, you know, we've got the ultimate insider, if I could refer to you <laughs> in that way. In in, <laughs> in, uh, in in the sense that you know, I mean, Michael was directly involved in the drafting of uh, of a lot of the communique. We've got great um, tax expertise at both ends of the table, at either end of the table. And Christ me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't say that in any in any dismissive sense at all, because you know I, I think you know in the hierarchy of who did most to put this uh, issue on the agenda, that you know possibly Starbucks and Microsoft to stand out, but you know Christian Aid and Action Aid and the other NGOs also made a, a, a huge contribution. So um, le let me just briefly introduce the panel. So Michael Anderson, who's Director General at DFID at the moment, but, but only for the moment because Michael is, is moving on to Children's Investment Fund, uh, which is a fantastic new role that we, we wish him well in. But Michael is going to speak for 25 or 30 minutes on to just take you through some of the issues in the communique um, and respond to your very tough questions, of course, a, a, bit, uh, a bit later. Richard Murphy who's the research director of Tax Justice Network. And, and I have to say, as someone who's an amateur in this field, I endlessly plunder Richard's mm. wisdom um, and research and advice. Christine Allen from, Christ, uh, from Christian Aid, who's going to, I think, give us a perspective from the, from the NGO side. And Lee Corrick from the OECD. And I think Lee is actually incredibly well placed, not just to talk about the agenda that came together in Locarno, but the OECD are now, the, in some senses, the baton has been passed on to the G20 and the OECD for delivery. So to take us through some of the, the issues that you're, you're, gra you're grappling with. So, Michael, o over to you. And you're, you're very welcome. And Thank we you. look forward to Thanks hearing very much, your, Kevin. your comments. Thank you.